Alrighty, everyone, welcome back. It is now getting closer to the end of May of 2023, and as John, George, Dave, as well as Tony Gilroy are really becoming this new dream team, quote-unquote, to handle Star Wars and really bring it in a better path, we also know that Kathleen Kennedy at the same exact time is really struggling with shows out there like The Acolyte and Skeleton Crew, and let's not forget about Indiana Jones 5, The Dial of Destiny. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future Star Wars updates. I'm also on Twitter at MikeZero1. I thank you also very much for the great and kind support. And without further ado, let's get right into the subject here. Now, we know that there's a lot of things going on between the Star Wars franchise and the Indiana Jones franchise. For starters, the Indiana Jones series by Lucasfilm uh, was actually canceled some time ago. I don't know if you guys knew about this, but there were plans to really kind of put out a series on Disney Plus that was going to recast Indiana Jones and it was going to be a whole thing. That whole thing fell apart because of the low confidence in Indy 5's test screenings, and it just kept on getting worse moving forward. Now that brings us to what Kathleen Kennedy had to say about the, what she likes to call, premature backlash of Indy 5, the current reviews after Cannes Film, Film Festival that actually debuted in France a couple of days ago, and more related to the Acolyte and Skeleton Crews. So this has a lot to do with both Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Now, with that being all put out there and said, we know one thing about Kathleen Kennedy is that she always downplays both sides of the fandom. And it's really not okay to kind of shy away your audience or your customers that buy your products and stuff like that. Now, currently with Disney developing multiple new Star Wars movies and shows that will be announced at this year's D23 event. However, in a recent interview that Kathleen Kennedy got involved in for both Indy 5, Skeleton Crew, and Acolyte, she began to get very defensive by stating the following. We here at Lucasfilm are proud of all the work that we put into Indy 5 and those Star Wars series. To have fans already calling our fifth indie movie a failure is absolutely uncalled for and an overreaction. I just think these fans need to learn that it's just a movie, and just like Star Wars, it's not something that is going to really change your life. It's pure, it's pure entertainment and not to be taken too seriously, and I think that's where the fans got confused. Witnessing the premature backlash for Indy is just a response from that loud minority that feels, th these, that feels these big franchises either make or ruin their childhoods, and it's just and always has been a bit crazy to me that people think a certain way like that. Let me just stop here for one second, all right? This is where she's completely wrong, is that a lot of people, when they look back at both franchises, I don't care if it's Indiana Jones 5, Star Wars, or anything else that you grow up with, you get this deep sense of nostalgia when you watch something, all right? I don't know about you guys, but there's a lot of people out there that really grew up on the original Star Wars movies, either in theaters or the next generation that grew up with the special editions on VHS. And then you had others, right, that grew up with the prequels, either in theaters or on DVD. And basically you have each generation growing up with Star Wars, right? Mainly handled by George Lucas. And it's interesting that she goes as far to say that it's not anything more than just a movie. She feels that being, of course, Star Wars and Indiana Jones, she thinks it's just pure, flat-out entertainment to just enjoy for a couple of hours and then forget about it. But in reality, these franchises, franchises like Indiana Jones and Star Wars, they really are something of their own. There's something about them that just is so special. And I think a lot of it is rooted to the fact that George Lucas loves to kind of embed real world mythology and using specific pieces of history combined with, you know, kind of adding in that mysticism, all right? Adding in that mystical aspect of both franchises. Now, moving on to the next thing, all right? Now, apart from how she says that this does not ruin anybody's childhood or it does not ruin their day-to-day -day lives or anything like that and it's pure entertainment like any other movie or any other popcorn flick is what she's basically saying. She goes on to elaborate things further, all right? 
The same applies to Star Wars. We have noticed already fans trying to devalue the Acolyte all because it's about promoting diversity and raising awareness of what's going on in the world right now. I got news for everyone, that's what Star Wars is all about. And even the Indiana Jones franchise. I think much of the criticism that we have been receiving for Indy for, from this group of fans is rooted to how they don't want a change in style or tone in a franchise fit for the modern audience as big as this one. And we did some great changes that we feel was necessary to make it feel fitted for modern audiences. We knew fans didn't want the old take on Indy. We had to take a stand and do something different. We know Harrison loves it and Mangold is proud of what he worked on too. Here is the thing that really worries me and something that just makes Kathleen Kennedy sound absolutely crazy. So, toward when she concludes here, she says how a lot of fans did not want the old indie. And what I mean by that is not the literal old indie Anna Jones. She's talking about the classic style of Indiana Jones. His personality, his banter, his uh, quick jokes that he's able to make. Um, he's very witty. That's his style in the Indiana Jones films. At least that's how I found his style perfected in the first three movies. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, I always exclude from my mind. I don't even consider that, you know, uh, canon or whatever. But when we look at the, th the first three movies, they're so perfectly well done. I know some people don't like Temple of Doom. I do, however. I love the way that they made him a very witty character. And apparently, they are dumbing that down. They are literally kind of watering that down in Indiana Jones 5. And that was intentional by Kathleen Kennedy. And she kind of elaborates that here that she believes fans did not want the old indie, that she wanted something new to fit the modern audiences. Basically what it sounds like is that they may have, may have, Marvelized Indiana Jones. And that's not to say that Marvel's bad. Marvel is Marvel, it's its own thing. And I know that some Marvel projects as of late have not met expectations, I will admit that. But Marvel in general, is its own thing. You know, it can have that type of humor, that type of, you know, comedy, and it works because it's meant for that. But from what it sounds like, she's using Indy in a different comedic sense for Indiana Jones 5. And this fits a lot of the post critics reviews uh, coming out of Cannes Film Festival that the jokes were very off and odd. Uh, nobody was laughing. It was just out of place with the Indiana Jones franchise and the com the comedy was a bit overboard especially from Phoebe Waller-Bridge. So again, this is typical Kathleen Kennedy always never understanding her core audience, never understanding a franchise, and she always views these things as basically a way to just garner a lot of revenue and to kind of just move along. I don't know if this is intentional. I don't know if she's just too out of touch with reality to realize what she's doing. I would say it's not the latter. I really do believe and starting to believe that it is intentional, that it is some kind of thing that they're using these brands to kind of just put out whatever they want to put out. Anyways, interestingly enough, guys, I think that Kathleen Kennedy, regardless, is worried about the performance of this. So Drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel, and I will catch you guys next time.